It's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. We have all been saved. The celebrities have taken care of it. Thank you, celebrities. <laughs> Things got pretty hairy there for a second. I was worried. But thanks to the thoughtful initiative of Gal Gadot, we now have all of your favorite celebrities singing John Lennon's Imagine all together in about 75 different keys. You know, this is a, uh, a very interesting reharm of this tune, and I'd really like to get to the bottom of it and find out exactly what's going on here musically, because uh, who knows, maybe I'd want to steal a thing or two and, and apply it to my own playing. So, uh, so let's jump into this and find out exactly how this brilliant arrangement of Imagine was constructed. Let's just see what we're working with here. Imagine there's no heaven. Very nice, very nice start. Let's find, let's figure out what, where are we? All right, so we're a, maybe a little flat, but that's okay. I mean, it, I'm sure it'll just slot right in. Uh, so that's going to be C. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy. Oh, hold, okay. All right, hold on. Hang on. The tempo is interesting here. I think we're using more of like a rubato feel, like this uh, kind of a a fluctuating tempo. So we're not really, we're not really beholden to one particular pulse throughout the arrangement. So um, it's just gonna kind of, you know, ebb and flow uh, just with the, with the feel, I would imagine. It's easy if you try. Okay, so right there, uh, we're gonna jump up a whole step. We go from C to D, how about that? That's really nice. I kind of like that actually. That's, that's that's nice. That's that was a good idea. That was good thinking. No hell below us. Hmm. Okay, so I see I see the motif that you know that's going on here. So we we climbed up a whole step, and now we've just we've climbed up another whole step. This is uh this is really clever. This is really clever. So let's see. Above us on the sky. Are you serious? <laughs> it's it's another. <laughs> It's another whole step. It's it's perfect. It's brilliant. Almost like it was on purpose. Imagine all the people living for today. Okay, now. So we've been relatively diatonic and whole tone and what, you know, whatever you want to call it all the way up through this point. But uh, Sarah Silverman brings in the first really interesting harmonic shift here. So let's figure out what's going on. So, so far we started in C, went to D, went to E, went to F sharp. Um, and then uh, James Marsden put it back into B, which is still kind of a similar sort of feel there. But where are we now? Imagine all the people. Living for. Whoa. <clears throat> uh oh. Living for today. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't know where that went. I mean, we were in D flat there for a second on the five chord, but um, I'd have to go back and slow that down. I'm not sure what the thought process was there, but. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna gloss over it. We'll call it ad lib. That's fine. Imagine there is no countries yet. It isn't hard to do. My guess is that's Jimmy Fallon doing John Lennon. <laughs> but the bigger question is what key are we in? It isn't hard to do. So we're in like C uh quarter flat. I'm really sorry, people with perfect pitch. This has gotta be even worse for you. Mm -hmm. Major sick. Nothing to kill or die for. Natalie Portman sticking with the same key, although she's a little more in tune. Out of the real musicians who are actually in this, I'm amazed that nobody thought to ask, like, hey, are we uh, are we all choosing a key or how, how's this going to work? I know religion too. Three in a row in the same key. I don't believe it. Oh, and then we jump from C to E. Imagine all.
Good, okay. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there. You may say that I'm a dreamer. I, I think we're in E again. But I'm not the only one. Amy Adams coming through, third in a row in E. We're getting somewhere. So we had three in a row in C and three in a row in, in E. Now that's a major third modulation, which is a very interesting harmonic device. It's kind of a little bit uh, not as common as maybe the minor third. That's an interesting motion. Let's see where we go from here. I hope someday you will join us. Hey, look at that, we're back to C. And remember, we're not really using a steady pulse here. We're kind of just floating and, and really going wherever we feel like we wanna go. So don't worry about the time, it doesn't matter. Imagine no possessions. We're gonna ignore that one. I wonder if you can. Very nice, very solidly in A flat. We went there from E, which is another major third. So we're using this, uh, we're using this major third uh, motif here. So we're then, then moving up, moving up again. I can only presume we're gonna go back to C. Let's see what happens. No need for greed and hunger. Uh, Will Ferrell, we, we, we almost got there. We were a half step away because that was B and, and not C. So kind of ruined the the harmonic motion we had going on there. Brotherhood of man. Is that Mark Ruffalo? For a second, I wasn't sure if it was Mark Ruffalo or Ty Lopez. Here in my garage. No need for greed and hunger. Brotherhood of man. Back to C. So if Mark Ruffalo got us there, Will Ferrell dropped the ball, but we made it eventually. Sharing all the world. Back into B, okay. You For, for a second, we were there. They may say that I'm a dreamer. E flat, okay. I don't think we've been in E flat yet. Who knows, we might even be trying to use all 12 keys in this arrangement. I'm not sure. We'll have to keep listening over and over again. They may say that I'm a dreamer. Oh, okay, so now we have a tempo. We're introducing a tempo for the first time in the arrangement. It's right, right about here. Nice little sidestep and a snap. That's nice, that's nice. So after all this uncertainty and the rubato quality of just sort of being free and letting it fall wherever we want it to, now, right towards the very end, we're gonna introduce a nice steady pulse. It's an interesting compositional choice, but let, let's see where it goes from here. But I'm not the only one. Wow! E flat again. Perfect. Really, really good. I hope someday you'll join us. And the world will be one. And bring it back to Gal to wrap it all up back in the key of C. I gotta tell you, I for one feel much safer. These ideas compositionally are super interesting. And I and I'd like to, you know, experiment with them. I feel inspired to kind of uh, you know try these out in my own writing and in my own arranging. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What was your favorite part of the arrangement? What was your favorite key change? And who is your favorite performer out of everybody? That's it for today's musical analysis, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.